Well, Happy New Year, everybody, from ProBrick Exclusive and Pro Theologist Channels. Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist. New Year's Day, Gosford, on the Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Thank you for stopping by. Many of you have experienced a very hard year relationship-wise. Things didn't go the way that you had planned. The person that you were with started to break down, push you away, become separative. And you tried to find ways of preventing a breakup. You wanted the relationship to work. But by nature, by the sinful nature of the person that you were with, they began to degenerate. And this is common, we all do it, for different reasons. We all do it for different reasons. And I don't think anybody should go along in a relationship and put up with abuse. You have to confront the issue, talk about the problem and resolve it as quickly as possible but sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes when you confront people they get um, defensive, they pull back, they shrink back, they make matters worse for themselves and for you. Hey, get out of that. Stop it. Stop it. It's eating rubbish. This is what people do. They just stick things in their mouth and they think it's going to be all right and it's not. They ruin their health the health of everyone around them, they don't care. Too many people don't care about themselves, let alone anybody else. So then they have to find people that don't care like they don't care. And then they have what's called, in most cases, a transactional relationship. Here, you can have your alcohol, I'll have my cigarettes and drugs. Nobody's going to survive that. Believe me, I grew up with it. It might be I'll have my religion and you have your golf. The next thing it's all golf and all religion and no relationship. The next thing it's all cigarettes and dope and all alcohol and no relationship. because it's being taken for granted, completely taken for granted. In many ways, it's like someone that's starving. They're starving for company, they'll do whatever they can to get it. Then when they got it, their psyche changes. Their needs change. They just change. And then, of course, once their needs have changed, that's the end of it. Things start to spiral out of control, downhill, and unless you're prepared to let the person get away with their distasteful behavior towards you, which leads to all sorts of different stresses and troubles and sadnesses, if you're prepared to put up with that and end up with post-traumatic stress disorders or complex post-traumatic stress disorders and live like that and become hardened in your heart, then it's going to be, a, it's just a, it's a, it's a hard road to hoe. And unfortunately for many of you who confront the issue and have tried to resolve things and only been met by a brick wall because 
when these people start to disintegrate, it's like speaking to a brick wall. They go downhill. And you just have to come to that place where you say no and walk away. Come on, here. And that was never the object, that was never the goal. That was the never, never the perspective and outcome and vision that you had for that person. But some people just are inclined to be that way. They're not going to tell you that at the start. Some people just want the casual relationship. That's all they want. They don't want to do the hard yards. And if they have done that 10, 5, 10, 15, 20 years, they've been conditioned by somebody that's a nitwit themselves, hasn't taught them any boundaries or any standards, has treated them with stubbornness and an authority of attitude, stood over them. And that person's become conceited and despondent and combative as I said before a lot of these people are running what they think to be medical centers with the psychologist and the doctor and the psychiatrist and everything else within their homes and it's all a big joke it's just all a big joke they're all twisted, bent self-medicating all this other stuff without any professional guidance whatsoever it's just all a big guessing game everybody ends up messed up banged up all the values and things go down the tubes they're talking about their intimate relationships with one another parents with children children with parents is probably acceptable to a point and there's no outside input they criticize each other and everybody else and it's horrible absolutely horrible they're functioning addicts functioning religious people don't underestimate what religion does to people just don't underestimate it really it's harmful it produces a problem within itself if you don't get it right Come on, mate. Hey. These people end up very messed up. So my message for you today is start the journey to come back to yourself. Start the journey just to get back to having no outside inputs, chemical inputs, exercise a little bit of exercise you can build on that get your self-worth back take accountability for the mistakes that you've made don't let them happen again set boundaries set standards a lot of these people run into people with standards and they can't understand how it works how to implement them They're not on point. And these habits or lack of them, positive habits, undermine them and ruin them. And if you've got any brains, you'll start with yourself, the journey of fixing yourself, the journey that leads to wholeness, where all these chemicals and things that you're putting into yourself and harming yourself with and the ways you look at life, the chemicals drop off and the way you look at life changes and you improve. You improve. For the benefit of yourself and everyone else around you. God was there the whole time, don't bring him into it. He minded his own business, he just spectated All he wanted was a friendship, that's what he said. It was a simple friendship. 
That was all he wanted. That was too much for you to come up with. You had to complicate it with your beliefs, your outlooks, your stubbornnesses, your conceitednesses, jealousies, deceitfulness, all that. You allowed that to come in and misguide you. You, in life, thought that your works or works or the kind things that you did for people, charitable things if they were, and remember, charity stuff you don't get paid for. If you're getting paid for it, it's not charity, it's a job. It's who you are at home. If you're an addict at home, you're an addict. If you're a drunkard at home, you're a drunkard. If you're a religious person that's sent it to a cult, you're a religious person that's in a cult. If you're an abusive person at home, that's what you are, an abusive person. If you're negligent, you're negligent. And only you can change it. Oh, God will help you. This that God is standing there minding his own business. It's up to you if you want to believe in him or not. And it's up to you whether you want to believe in your relationship and, or not. But if you're unfair, if you're lopsided, if you're doing things that you know are going to harm the relationship and you're not willing to find a way of correcting that, then 2024 is going to be so difficult to navigate. You'll look back and you'll, when you do learn and say, I wish I had to listen and learn way back when I had the opportunity. 2024, time to grow, time to change, or time to be left behind. Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, theologist, out.